All right, all right. I'm going to try to get a multiplayer round posted once a day as well, just to share that something different with you all. I'm still working through all the holes, and we got the daily challenge every night, but I haven't been doing the multiplayer videos as often now. So this is glide roll arrive on a forehand. Usually try to get down there a little farther. So I'm not really going to run this. Just going to play it safe with the harp. And hopefully get down there next to the basket for a birdie. Just like so. Always a good way to start. Would have been nice to get the eagle, but don't get don't get that one very often. It's always risky to run it because you got the water behind. This one, I like to throw the beast on a forehand. Usually slide over, put the middle chevron kind of just under the symbol for the basket. Put a bunch of Anheuser on it as such. Very rare I have much shot at hitting the, the chains on this one, but it's usually a pretty safe to get down there on the green and give yourself like an 80 footer for, for birdie. Nice thing about this hole, there's not much wind to deal with when you're putting, so it's pretty much a straight putt. And I'm sure most of you are, are used to that putt. This one, unless the wind's pretty strong in my head, or in headwind, then I'll throw the beast on a backhand. Put a little bit of flex on it to make sure I get the distance. Usually get better skip than that towards the basket, but I know this is always a risky one. A lot of people just lay up to the left and throw the longer shot for birdie, but I'm pretty confident with this shot with the beast. I can make it probably probably 90% of the time unless I have a difficult wind. This one, I'll go back and forth between the river and the beast, depending on how far up I want to get it. But lately, I just throw the river. Try to get on this side of that tree, that way I have a nice backdrop in case I go long. I'll kind of hit that mountain and don't have to worry about, come on, be it. there we go. Don't have to worry as much about the water if you stay left of that tree. So that's kind of what I've been trying to do lately. This one is the fuse. You should get this one maybe 20% of the time. Oh, and that was a horrible, oh, dang. I go back and forth between aiming left of the basket and letting it turn over towards or aiming right at the basket and then just countering the turn. So let me know what you think if you're watching this and you play that hole. Do you like to aim left of the basket and let it turn over or do you aim right at the basket and accommodate? I'm curious. So I get to use my new disc. Finally got the, in the event today, got the Explorer. The accurate roll. Um, trying to decide it's definitely going to be nice that roll feature is awesome most times I'm going to use the Explorer I don't want it to really skip or slide much and that's that's the best feature of the roll discs lost my train of thought because this hole I hate this hole um, let me know share a comment what do you guys do on this hole because I feel like this is the only way to play it and usually I can get a little closer, but every once in a while I feel like I throw the perfect shot and just gets a little bit of air underneath it, as you know, and just slides out of bounds. Um, so it's almost better just to go short. Let me know what you do on that hole, because I, I hate that hole. This one, I never really run it. I just throw the beast, take a little bit off of it, and just let it fade back towards the basket. Just so you all know, you can go on that bridge, and it can fall in between... Um, in between the wood and go down out of bounds. That happened to me. I thought like once you're on the middle of that bridge, you're safe, but nope. So be mindful of that. Hole nine, we got a pretty good round going. This is looking good. Don't hit the pole. Oh man, stop. Wow, so that might be my best drive ever on this hole. We're gonna kinda try to go for it, but I don't think this disc has enough. Kind of being a pan pansy about this. I didn't put enough Anheuser on it. Darn it. That would have been a nice eagle to finish it off, but still a solid round. See what we got. Hope you all enjoyed. I didn't even check the competition. I haven't even been following what the other scores are. 1103, nice. 10 under par, 1100 rated round. That's always good. Hope you all enjoyed. There's my multiplayer round for the day. Pretty good rating. I'll try to get at least one of these rounds posted a day. Let me know what you think. I appreciate you watching me play some DGV.